I'm just on my way to Trench 19. They found an amazing tiled surface there. It's the last day. It's the last morning of the dig. And it's always a little bit frantic. Because of course, on any archeological dig, you're guaranteed at five to five, just before you leave site, to find the most important find of the dig. So watch this space for the Leyston Chalice. Okay, so we're here in Trench 19. Um, we just found these two items while masking on this layer here. We think it might be the edging to a window because it also came with some stained glass, we think. Um, but besides that, we don't really know. I think I know what's going on in Trench 19. So, when we uncovered it, we found that bit of the wall down there. Now, what we've done, we've taken it all the way back, and we've definitely got our wall running across. What it looks like is happening is that we've got a clay floor that's running up against it. So they put the wall in, they put down the clay floor, and they're building in a room. So here, we're inside the building. Over here, we're outside the building. This is why we found some rubbish bits. So they're obviously, this is their building, and they're dumping their rubbish outside to so see that pit going down. What we think's happening is that we've got this orangey brown layer that's maybe a made up ground to make it level so that when they come to put the building on, it's nice and level because we're on a bit of a slope here. So, and this really ties in well with the 1985 excavation. So this wall here looks like we've got a wall running down here. So we're bisecting it roughly over here so all this in here is this clay floor layer which they're talking about and even in the plan we have um, he's put on a few patches of brick and tile so that ties really well with our brick and tile further up the trench so here we are in the presbytery perhaps the most important part of the abbey church here at Leyston and this site was founded by a little known order of um, canons known as the Premonstratensians. These were the white canons, they were called that because of their white robes. And many people think that these sites, there are only 36 of them, are located in these far out of the way places such as where this was founded originally in Minsmere as a deliberate ideological rejection of all things that they wanted to return to the hermetic tradition and be, be in those very difficult austere surroundings. But recent research has shown that actually in fact it might be because they were the latecomers to this monastic tradition. That in fact they, they did that because all the good land had already been taken. And because they couldn't rely on those gigantic ground rents or those vast flocks of sheep for their income, they were actually far more entrepreneurial than some of the other monastic orders. And we actually see that in the cartulary, the publication of all the administrative documents relating to the abbey, where we have record of the abbot and his canons falling out with the bailiffs at Dunwich over who had rights over cargo that could be landed there on the coast. Some people say they even resorted to piracy, but perhaps we need more evidence before we go with that one. So it's the last day, the last afternoon, and you can see what's happened to the weather. Um, it's not the best digging conditions. Um, today we've decided to put in a test pit over where there were some crop marks in this field. So we've come away from a, the original Trench 16 where we found nothing particularly, just furrow marks. And we've, we've marked out the line of the crop mark with um, some poles and we've sunk uh, a metre meet by a metre test pit and we've hit the wall so uh, it looks like the crop marks did not lie so it looks like there's something that's mortared together with various different types of stone in it's very solid and it's where the wall is expected to be so it's probably a wall or at least the foundation for one Which is uh, pretty good, I suppose, on a wet day. 
No surprises in the fines area today with the weather rolling in. So as of lunchtime, I've had suddenly a lot of help today. So as you can see, I've got people washing, I've got people using um, the small sifts to go through the wet oh, sift stuff. Way, um, we're entering everything into the system because today is the last day and we really need to get things rolling. So hopefully by tonight we've done most of the fines so there's less for me to do tomorrow morning when I'm on my own. So we have some really interesting finds from the test pits which are, uh, have been excavated at the south end of the Abbey complex. And the material that's been found there is really interesting because the soil that's been deposited there has actually been um, put there on purpose uh, during the Second World War to make uh, allotments uh, for Leyston. And um, most of the material seems to be midden material from the Abbey. We've had an array of finds, absolutely amazing finds, but this is not just the story of the 12 canons sitting at the table. This is a story about the life of the monastery. And it's amazing, they've had such an amazing varied diet. So we have oyster shells here, we've got lots of animal bone, and my particular favorites are this lovely massive cow bone that we've got here. And you can see that somebody's chopped the top off and they've taken the marrow out of it. But the other thing that I like too is, this has been cut up, nice piece of rib there, and you can see these knife marks down here where they've actually cut away at the meat. So, they've had a really rich diet, and um, we've had lots of pig teeth, and we've had sheep and cows, and um, they're eating all sorts. It's, um, it just creates a lovely picture of monastic life here at Leyston. Hello, I'm Roger Southgate, I'm 17. I've been at this uh, site for about a week. I think the highlight of this week has definitely been finding the tiles in Trench 19. I was lucky enough to be matting away and I uh, heard the shout that they were there. I came here to do the archaeological dig because I really wanted to um, uh, participate in history. It's my favourite subject at school. I try and do as much history as I can and I thought what better way to do it than actually participating and being in there with the history itself. Although I might not want to do uh, history as a career, I think it's definitely an option and I've really enjoyed the week. I've loved everything, the digging, the rain has been great, the uh, working in the sieves, amazing, and the people here, all lovely. And it's been a great time and I'm definitely hoping to come back next year and years to come on. It's not warm, is it? No, 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 no. I guess we were spoiled though, we should have expected this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough with the smooth, yes. as well, they say. It, and as, also, as they say, it's the evening after the evening before. Yes. Uh, another epic end of sight party. Yes, sore heads all round. <laughs> but we're still working hard, still yeah. working hard. Yeah, they just finish up up now in the eastern field. I can't believe it. They've got to found another structure. So, exactly as you predicted, five minutes before the end of dig, the last day, day 14, yep. and boom, we finally get to investigate that crop mark, and lo and behold, there's a wall footing coming through. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah, I, I, speechless. But anyway, we'll be telling you more about that, and we'll be having trench wrap-ups for each location that we've been digging, and a little bit more about, you know, our highlights of the dig, yes. and um, what might be happening next. Year. Yay! That's mm. true. We had a little bit of news on that. A today, little bit of news, so we'll, yes. <laughs> we're going to share that with you soon.